Unfortunately, the virus doesn't stop outside school grounds. Just one week in, and Pierce County's Friday night lights are already dimming. We've confirmed that players on at least several Pierce County teams have tested positive for COVID since the first game of the season. As Q13's Olivia Lavoie shows us, this doesn't just impact those teams, but their opponents as well. It was a game everyone was waiting for. Hometown rivals Peninsula versus Gig Harbor. Which is a game that nobody misses. The entire town turns up for this game. But per COVID protocols, bleachers had to stay empty. No one was allowed to attend. Parents say that was hard enough. Now to find out that, again, not only are we not watching them play. There's no games. There's nothing for two weeks. Since last Friday's game, the first game of the season, the school district says a student from Gig Harbor has tested positive for COVID. I would like to say I was shocked, but it wasn't a shock at all. Sadly, it was like, of course, of course this would happen. Players and their families say it feels like they can't catch a break. And it's not only affecting teams where players have tested positive for COVID. It's pretty disappointing since we only have six games. And now, I mean, only five. It's pretty. It sucks pretty bad. Jonas Waugh's team was scheduled to play Gig Harbor this week. A lot of these kids have been working since they were in third grade leading up to this season. And because uh, one other athlete, for whatever circumstances, tests positive, all of them uh, essentially are punished. Jonas's father, Doug, says having a snag this soon into the season is devastating because for some kids, getting to play this year can mean getting a sports scholarship or not. For some of them, athletics are the only positive in their lives and it's being taken from them. It's, it's very unfortunate. He and many other football families are praying COVID doesn't cost them the whole season. Hopefully uh, this week we'll send a message to all of these athletes that they need to take it seriously uh, when they're off the field. Olivia LaVoice, Q13 News. So far, five high school games have been canceled this week. In a normal season, players have at least 12 games. And this year, all teams started out with only six games.